Right, I've got a few minutes. We'll do a quick video, if possible, on this guy. That's a 240 gig SSD. This one had a bit of a rough life. And basically, when plugged into the computer, it doesn't mount. Uh, let me have a look at it again. Use a SATA to USB adapter. Plug it into a computer. <clears throat> okay. All right, plug it in. No sound, plug it back in. Hmm, nothing. So basically nothing's happening. Nope, nothing. Okay. going to plug it into a mobile phone directly with a Type-C adapter. Nothing. Okay. So, I mean, I don't repair these. I never opened the SSD before. Just curious to know why this failed. I don't see any screws, haven't watched any videos on it. I don't even know how to open this guy, so... Just going to have a look. There is a screw there. Ah, uh, okay, okay. There are some screws, okay. Let's bring the heat down, apply a little bit of heat. Let's peel this guy.
I've never been a good fan or favorite fan of Kingston. More of a Samsung guy. Turn up the tractor. This one uses similar to PlayStation uh, screwdriver. Good old I fix the tool, see if there's one in there. Too big. So probably we need T6 or T7. It's a T8. Probably a T6. Hmm, I don't have one. This is the last solution, it's from Xiaomi, from Wowstick, T8 is there, and T6, no, nothing's available. Sometimes the solution is right in front of you. You just have to keep looking.
All right, I have an idea. I'm gonna use the flathead. Not the flathead fish, flathead screwdriver, just like this, which will offer a little bit of torque. But I may damage the head of this. That's fine. There we go. One. See this one? You killed the head already. No. Try here. No. At least we killed, we destroyed the inside, meaning we can use just a standard one. There we go. Okay. So you have to destroy the little pin on the inside. Put the screw. So what I'm doing is I'm um, destroying the little bit, little guy on the inside. Switch it over. We need to destroy that a little bit more. That's pretty clean. He'll come out easy. Probably need to apply a little bit more force. One, 
two, three, four. Yeah, I've taken three out except this last one. Come on. All right, that one will be pretty much screwed up a little bit. That's okay. Okay. Alright, we've got access to our SSD. This was a 240 gig. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <clears throat> 8, time, 8 divided by so 64 each, is it? <clears throat> 30, 32 gig each. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So there's a bit of a mark here. I don't know why if this is the reason why this SSD is not working. There we go. Now this is not what I will be doing if it's a job that requires data recovery. Just curious to know why it doesn't work. What's wrong with it? Wow, that's a lot of chips. 16 chips. 16 divided by 240. So there will be 16 gigabyte each. S1610, yeah. That's a lot of SSD chips. And for things to go wrong. Well, there we go. You can see what's inside a, six, a 240 gig SSD now SSD. Totally useless video, but 
tomorrow or sometime I'll have a look at this through the microscope. I can see something here unusual. Just have a look at that under the microscope. No, nothing. Now, just curious if I plug this into the computer and I put a bit of alcohol, see if anything gets hot. Hmm, something here. You can see the chip is working. This guy is getting a little bit hot, which is normal behavior. Data recoveries for SSD in the future are very important and uh, it's a good business to be in but you gotta know what you're doing and best way to learn is to work on these dead boards see what's going on hmm he's getting unusually hot that looks like a controller these are the power chips for it on the other side out of curiosity, I want to have a look at this under the uh, thermal cam. Let's have a look together. Okay. Got the thermal cam set up. I haven't connected the machine yet, the, um, the SSD yet, and I'm going to. There we go. Plug it to the same computer that's doing the thermal cam. Okay, that's plugged in. Two lights are on, and let's see. Yeah, what's the temperature? Um, I'll let that be there. So that's about, <clears throat> it's about 32, that could, be no, that could be normal operating temperature.
Oh, it switched off. So it tried to turn on, but it failed. Okay, so it switched off, it's given up. Plug it back in again. We should see the same behavior again. Hmm, it's given up now. Oh, sorry, that was the other side. This is the side where the chip is. <clears throat> All right. All right, I'm gonna do this again. Okay, so this is the side of the chip facing us. All right, let's unplug it. I think it must have gotten hot, quite hot. So we were looking at the other side before. That was about 32 degrees. Now I'm going to re-plug it again, let it cool down a little bit more. Okay, let's retry that. Plugged in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, definitely some kind of a short on the controller. Very interesting. And it should give up shortly because it's just not able to boot or you know get itself going. Interesting. And let's see what kind of a chip that is under the microscope. So this is a Kingston CL13824Z Sandforth controller. Uh -huh. So probably many people out there have a dead SSD because of this controller. And so if you replace this, we should be good to go. We may have to reformat the SSD. I don't know, it may contain the data information, I'm not sure. Even if it doesn't, after putting in a new controller, we can then maybe do a raw recovery on those memory chips and then reconstruct the data. And I do have a BGA machine, uh, if I have time in the future I may look at fixing this see how we go thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching please subscribe to support this channel